Becky has got a wingman. That's essentially sniper rifle. We've ever seen in the AMG. And they're just tracking using the most they can out of that little natural uh, bit of ground here. Meanwhile, it's going to be Gambit just Hardecki trying to hold on. And oh, he clutches against Navi here. Hardecki, the last man standing. That's certainly the one you want if you're talking about Gambit. Such huge plays from Hardecki there. Getting those extra kill points, but also the extra placement points there. Will he be able to rat it out for even longer? No. the low ground trying to pick this one up here Tom this is looking really good for Gamut because they're ignoring this fight over towards the side and they're slow playing things inside of the building also bubble being used is detrimental over towards that side because you know Artico is going to come in with the defensive environment other bubbles going to be used this could connect on all the players dead side going to be the ones tracked here as Gambit from a couple different angles looking for more the mortars just raining down from above Hardecky is going to get knocked on this one but do they have enough power left in the tank to secure the win Gambit looking for it game number one and Gambit will take it Still racking up a lot of KP. See Gambit Esports now putting himself out in the opening. Nice to know that there's Ooh. another spot right behind them, but these Arc Stars getting the break, getting them down, and now Hardecki, who's been so consistent all week long now, moving in, having to pop the shield back in time. They have the safety of the dome to avoid this bombardment, but that's also some insurance to ensure that they won't get pushed. Hardecki is playing out of his mind today. We saw him last game clutch up, now connects for a long range Arc Star, some way, somehow still alive here. 10 squads remain, make it nine, as Gambit might find their earliest exit all tournament this game unless they can clutch up. And Hardecki <laughs> does it again. How does he do it all the time? The Eva Eight is stripping, just being wow. able to also call in the mobile respawn yeah. beacon right next to the box too. Gambit Esports, they are rolling the dice here, but they are loving their positioning all the way through. Teams trying to make this rotate in, as you can see where the Zonis Gambit does need to push in a little bit. Zeta, another one of those teams that we did watch make that rotate through, and I think they were ahead of Gambit in that rotation. So now they should probably be in a similar area. I think Gambit's going to try and see if they can sneak up on Zeta. It's Hardecki with the what? wide left flank. What a smart play from Hardecki doing Hardecki things. Two knocked, one last member alive for Zeta Division. And of course, leave it to Hardecki to make the play with the wide left flank. Brilliant positioning and flank right there from Hardecki. That was huge, huge for Gambit. I mean, doing Gambit things at this point and still dishing out some poke damage as well. Getting more KP on the board. Making this look easy right now. Hardecki's having a fantastic day so far. He's having a field day, to be honest with you. That's what he's going to do. Flanking Nags wide left. So that's going to be Nags from Clean. And Clean, who drops Fragment East, might be the next on the hit list for Gambit. They take out Rats. They flank and take out Zeta. And now they're on the brink of taking out Clean as well. It's going to be 9kp almost for them. Really just could win the fight with one headshot here. Watching all of those angles, playing his shots. The 145 might be enough for Gambit to make the charge. At least they can just slowly walk up on the team here. It's given them the freedom to push in. So they don't really have to worry about circle now. They've got that far. Headshot. And this game is completely different. Hardecki's just hitting bodies and shoulders at the moment. Do not peek. This man is had two warm-up shots now. The third. Might be the magic number. Arkstar in hand instead. He's going to try and force Fenerbahce to poke and move from that area. 70 damage now, and Hardecki says, come on, boys. It's time to force the pace a little bit here. They're going to be safe inside that next circle. He'll be saved a little bit by the gun shield there. Hardecki doing big damage, but still, you've got to give credit to Fenerbahce as well, Dan. Not being dragged out into this fight and still surviving for now. Uh, waiting and tiptoeing their way up. As I said, the longer this goes on, the probably worse it is for Fenerbahce. But at the same time, Gambit know they need to make a move sooner rather than later. There are plenty of teams that could potentially third this, but surely every single time there's a crack like that, Gambit are desperate to go. But they don't want Grenade to change everything here. Hardecki hitting the shots, but not getting the knocks. And this must be so frustrating at the moment for Gambit. The amount of damage that they have done, they must be burning through the resources of Fenerbahce, who they're going to be feeling like paupers at the moment. And look at this, they're not able to heal up for now. There's they're taking that time to do so. A few cells being used, a few Phoenix kits being used, but 
with Hardeki now with that red armor. He's going to be able to pass it off. Maybe look to hit one more Kraber shot. How many bullets has he got left in the chamber? That's the question. Two more shots for Hardeki. If he can make this happen, one headshot, 1-1-45, one, one and they can close the gap, then Gambit will have that opportunity to push. However, let's go over to La de France. See what they're doing now in the choke. 123, and Hardeki does get the dog. The moment we step away, Hardeki steps up and Gambit step forward. Artico is taking a lot of damage, so is the Ogre here, but it looks like they should be okay to finish this fight. They will finish the fight. With the fire, but look at this, they're fighting against Fort King and Gambit. Are they gonna go down? Leogri trying to hold it off with a massive he clutches up and saves Gambit! Four gang gets sent back to the lobby! They could have uh Done in that situation. Gambit's still on the edge of this circle as well. Hardeki may be looking to pick up a kidnap here. He's going to go in. Does he get anyone? Yes, he does. And not only that, he picks up yet another in a 1v1. He'll return to his teammates for Hardeki. We say it a million times per broadcast, it feels. Just doing Hardeki things. Potentially just a battle for second place between Alliance and Na'Vi. So Alliance desperate to pick up those KP, but they're well aware of where Gambit currently reside. And Gambit, shieldless in, in certain parts, haven't been able to get a swap, haven't been able to get any bats. The Ogre very low, and Alliance might be able to take advantage of that. They've got a bubble up as well. They can reset oh, that's here. That's big from Alliance though. They've managed to get that final knock onto the Na'Vi player. And now Gambit are gonna move in, but Artico will go down. And now they only have two standing. Good shots coming in from Hardeki though with the Eva 8. He'll get the knock as well, but surely this has just opened the door for Alliance to walk Ooh. in. No! Hardeki! So many teams to play now. Trying to do what he can. Unfortunately, he's going to run into Hardeki, and that's going to be the end of their game because you don't want to run into Hardeki because he will make you pay as the last player alive for Gambit. Hardeki's still alive, and I like how you said it's unlikely that Gambit will win this game, but you also recognize that Hardeki is still alive in the game, and when he is alive, anything is still possible, as now we check. The play to points, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Seven squads now remaining. Hardeki, still one of those players, and he's gonna have to have a little peek at that team and say goodbye, I'm back out through my portal, but this is looking like a very, very tough road for Hardeki. But if anyone <laughs> can do it, Hardeki can. He stood in the center of the zone, nobody's looking at him. It's allowing him to get that battery off too. Two seconds till he can jump back into the void and maybe survive for a few more seconds, but no! He doesn't want to survive, he wants to kill everyone! He just wants extra KP! Hardeki's just taken down two. Hasn't got the KP just yet. The knocks need to be finished. They will be finished. Two extra points given to Gambit. Top four now. Hardeki is just... He stared at everyone in the lobby and said, I dare you to try and take me down. And Gambit somehow, Hardeki somehow still alive. Oh, Jazaz tries to peek him as well, and this is looking like it might be the end now for Hardeki. He's done everything he could to survive, and he's gonna make me question myself once more as he's taken down to around 50 HP. Still alive, somehow or other. Let's see the France on one side of the map as well. And at the moment, I think Hardeki's just trying to hope that he can bait these two teams into fighting before he tries to complete the miracle run here for Gambit and maybe pop up to win the game. But we're down to three. Hardeki is still alive here for Gambit. And this is looking like all of a sudden it might be a slightly more winnable situation uh, than previously. The bubble goes up. It looks like Lesita France aren't aware of Hardeki's positioning here. And that means the fight's going to break out between these two teams. There's a lot of damage that can be done by Hardeki here. All he's playing for realistically is top two, but certainly will have his sights on the first place. Well, here comes the ape and there comes the Nox. Lesita France get the first one. Joke is trying to get connect with the second as well. The Cita France will pick up the kills they need necessary to at least secure that second place. But here comes Hardeki, the one-man army. Is he going to be able to pull off one no of the craziest plays we've ever seen in the ALGS? Of course he is. Hardeki is built different.